Linux Mint 20 beta test. Let's take a look. All right, so Linux Mint 20, I believe it's pronounced Yuliana, the Mate edition. This is a five-year support release uh, supported until 2025. Uh, a brief look at what's new in Linux Mint 20 Mate. It says here, according to them, the star of the show in Linux Mint 20 is a new application called Warpinator. I guess this was called originally Giver. Uh, you can uh, share files across the local network without any server or configuration computers would automatically see each other and you can simply drag and drop files from one to another i think that's a very convenient unusual name warpinator it sounds like a sequel to terminator terminator 7 schwarzenegger versus the warpinator all right so the default desktop here i did move the panel from the bottom to the top let's go to this quickly let's get a right click preferences and we'll do 12 hour format and the usual shortcuts here right click sound preferences and nothing unusual here all right updates i already have done one thing that this does uh, when you first boot, it does pop up with this very nice uh, welcome screen. Welcome, first steps, documentation, help, and contribute. If we go back to first steps, I believe the default color was this green. Uh, it's not my favorite uh, desktop color, but that can be changed. As you saw, I had a different color. I believe it was teal. And I think I like this color a little bit better. I used to have a color a car that was this color teal back when I lived in Florida. Another nice thing about the Mate desktop that I've always liked since the start is the ability to add little shortcuts to the panel called applets. So let's do well, let's do weather. That's usually the one I first install. We'll do weather report add. And let's see right here we're going to do preferences and uh, yeah we're gonna do location. Oh Let's pretend I'm back in Miami and uh, that'll work and let's see update and oh it's not working okay well I guess I found the first bug that's okay it's still a beta so no big deal let's remove that for now let's go ahead and keep moving along let's right click on the desktop all right the usual shortcuts here of course uh, the ships with the usual amount of nice wallpapers oh I don't know let's Pick something more cheerful. Okay, that's good enough for me. All right, so the Kaha file manager, again, simple. We have two shortcuts here on the desktop. And then once again, the file manager. All right, Firefox is installed by default. Uh, for me, in, in in Linux, for whatever reason, I have found Chrome to be to run a little bit faster than Firefox. I'm not sure why. Both are okay, but I prefer Chrome, and I've been using the Brave browser too. All right, so the terminal. So sudo apt update is one terminal command that you can do if you are complete. Uh, new complete newbie to this all right all packages are up to date so we'll get out of that you do not have to use the terminal uh, to update your system by the way all right let's see here so we did the file manager that's good you know let's go to the start button as I call it or the start menu I've always enjoyed uh, this I guess this this is called the mint menu if I am not mistaken it's simple it's intuitive and uh, the, the, the just something about it that I've liked since the beginning we have places system application you can switch between favorites as you see here and all applications so since we are in this and there is a search tab here also let's go through these one by one real brief see, see if anything catches my eye uh, accessories we'll scroll down here and there is the warpinator uh, this is uh, probably not something I would use right off the bat but it's nice to have that option all right, let's go ahead and get out of that. All right, where are we here? Let's go to graphics. Okay, I would probably, yeah, this is missing the GIMP. If you like to do something with graphics and photos, I would definitely install the GIMP. The internet. All right, Firefox is fine. Hexchat, Thunderbird Mail I use quite a bit. I use transmission when downloading Linux ISOs to test. 
Go to Office. All right, the LibreOffice Suite. Very good. Salad Video. I then install Simple Screen Recorder to record this. In the box, I use almost all the time that I play music. My first exposure to Rhythmbox was back in, uh, well, 2006, the first time I played with Ubuntu. It's been solid and stable, so yeah, it just works. Uh, another piece of uh, sound and video uh, software I would install that should be mandatory, I would install VLC. It's great for Windows also. All right, Spotify to stream all your music. Uh, I actually forget my password, or else I would show you how this works. But you know, I'm sure you've heard of Spotify and used this before. So, yeah, you have to set up an account and all that. And uh, if it boots, if it starts, it, it doesn't look like it's going to start. Okay, let's move on. Like I said, th this is still a beta. Oh, there we go. I mean, that took a while. Yeah, that took longer than it should. Hmm, I don't know why. Okay. Maybe it's because it's inside a virtual box. All right, so let's go to system tools. Um, let's take a look at the system monitor. All right, 1.4 in VBox running the recorder. That sounds about right. CPU usage is really not that much. Okay, very good. All right, moving along. Uh, let's see anything here. All right, administration. Let's see what we have here. The Synaptic Package Manager, one of my favorite tools probably my favorite tools, uh, tool to install and delete software. Uh, this is not something that is normally for newbies or beginners. It's not that difficult to learn. But yeah, I normally use this to install software. And if I'm in the mood, I'll just use some terminal commands. But uh, yeah, this is, this is a nice package manager for Ubuntu-based systems. All right, moving along. Uh, let's see what else catches my eye. All right, the uh, the software manager. Okay. All right, nice default selection of fonts and colors. Again, when when it comes to customizations for Linux, uh, I'm not all that picky about it. As long as I can read it and it looks good, then uh, you know that's good enough for me. So we have categories here. For example, we can go to sound and video. And there we go, we can install VLC. Audacious is a great lightweight player. Clementine is good also, and so on. So yeah, this looks very nice. All right, let's exit out of that. And uh, let's see, anything here that catches my eye? Um, the backup tool. Um, as far as backups, I use uh, just drag and drop method. I have uh, two, actually I have three external uh, hard drives to do all my backups of files, folders, and videos, you know, and so on. Uh, that's my preferred way of doing things. Uh, if you don't have at least one backup hard drive, you should have at least two, preferably more. You, you can never have uh, too many backup, you know, drives. So I prefer using the, you know, drag and drop method for backups instead of using software related here there's nothing wrong you know wrong with this if you wanted to use this but i just i just been used to drag and drop so yeah all right let's see preferences uh let's see here if anything catches my eye the comp is settings if you would like to enable this and uh yeah it does say use with caution oh to give your desktop you know special effects such as 3d windows animation wobbly windows it's cool if you wanted to mess with this, but again, this could somehow break, maybe break your system. That's why the warning. Uh, I don't use it anymore personally, but it does look cool. All right, so let's see. Startup applications. Let's see if you wanted to system to start up a little bit faster. Uh, let's see. For me personally, I would probably I will um, I would remove Flatpak. I would not need the welcome screen. Remove that. Uh, I don't have. I don't ha have any need for Nvidia support. Remove that. And uh, Warpinator. Eh, it's probably not something I would use personally. At least not now. So yeah. So you can remove some startup programs if you wanted to have your system, you know, launch a little bit faster. Okay. Well. Overall, uh, this works uh, the way uh, it should. 
Uh, keep in mind if you wanted to install uh, Snap Software by default, the system now blocks you. Uh, so I did post a short video on how to unblock yourself if you choose to install Snap Software. You may never have the need uh, to install Snap Software. But I will, I will have a link for that if you wanted to take a look at that video. But overall, yeah, this pretty much uh, works the way it should here on the window preferences. If you're left-handed, you can switch the title bar buttons to the left, as you see here. I am right-handed, so I'll just go right. So, yeah, overall, uh, this works the way it should, change theme and so on. So I will just leave this uh, the way it is. Um, but yeah, Linux Mint, um, supported for five years. Uh, check it out. I will have a link for this below in the show notes. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. That's all for this one. Arrivederci.